So something a little bit different today, if you were to ask me a year ago, maybe two years ago, if mobile gaming was something that I would be interested in, I would tell you to f off 100% mobile gaming is for losers. Uh, and while I still hold a little bit of that sentiment, there is something here today that is kind of I'm hopefully changing my mind. Uh, in this video today, we got this thing called the Backbone One. And this is a uh, mobile gaming controller. Uh, and we're gonna unbox it today and kind of see what it can do. But it kind of got that style of like the, oh look, my phone is gonna become a Nintendo Switch kind of thing, right? So it says that this thing can handle, you know, your mobile games and things like that. This one is designed specifically for the iPhone. There are some for Android as well, but we should also be able to play Xbox Cloud Gaming, Xbox Play Anywhere, Steam Link, PlayStation Remote, I think is what it's called, uh, other cloud gaming, Apple Arcade, things like that. So there's a bunch of different things that you have access to. The thing is, is how good does it play? So let's unbox this thing, kind of see what the unboxing experience is like. Uh, and then let's test it out. And then I wanna follow up on this video later down the road. I want to use this thing for like a month and see, you know, after a month, what my thoughts are on it exactly. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this open and then we will test it out, yeah? Okay, so this is what the packaging looks like. I think it looks pretty, pretty nice in terms of professional packaging, things like that. Uh, we'll go around and take a look at kind of everything here. What's Post it up on the the box and everything like that. And we'll get it open here. All right, so now we're greeted with this black box here. And we can open that. Oh, what's that? It's like some adapter, looks like. And we got a little, a little note here. And then underneath that reveals the controller. Okay. And underneath that, we have some safety guide. So unboxing experience isn't too terrible. Uh, it's, I mean, pretty nice packaging. All right, now I'm gonna flip this camera on and we're going to take a look at actual quality. Okay. So here is the controller and it looks pretty swanky. We can open it. This is the PlayStation version. So on the back, it has the uh, PlayStation logo on there. Uh, so in terms of build quality, joysticks feel okay. Um, they're kind of like uh, switch joysticks, if you ask me. The buttons, pretty clicky. The D-pad is kind of spongy. Flick on the analogs is eh, not terrible. Could be better though. Clicks on these buttons are pretty good. And clicks on these buttons are pretty good. Uh, triggers, feel fine. Shoulder buttons, kind of spongy, but again, fine. It's, it's for a cell phone controller. So really, what more are you looking for? Just something, something that works, I suppose. So this unit is actually kind of interesting because we have a headphone jack, something that Apple has done away with. It's gone the way of the dinosaur, uh, as some people would say, but we also have pass through charging. So on this right hand side here, uh, we can plug in a charger there and that kind of just branches off to this here. This lightning connector unit thing right here off to the side is how we connect the controller to the phone. So let's, put that on, right? So I have my phone right here. Uh, again, I, I put on the uh, the adapter because this is an iPhone 14 Pro Max. So I had to put on that adapter to make it work. However, it still won't, won't work with a case on your phone. Go figure. So we'll toss that off to the side. Now, what we, what we need to do is we need to kind of put that in there. This thing slides out, plugs in. We got a light down here. Maybe we need to uh, open it up here. So now what we can do is we can actually hit this orange button. And I, I've already downloaded the app just before we did this, right after I unboxed it. So we just click that. And now we are inside basically the, uh, the Backbone app. And it does look very much like 
kind of like an operating system, something you would see on Xbox. You can scroll through and see games that are popular on Backbone. Uh, you can go through and see what you have downloaded or played, and you can kind of just see by different category. PS Remote, Featured, Action, Fighters and Brawlers. You can play Brawlhalla on there. That's pretty cool. Simulation. Uh, but then they also have Xbox Cloud Streaming, and I wanted to see how good that was so i'm gonna pull up a game here and we're just gonna see how good it is so now xbox cloud has to run through the safari app on your iphone there's no actual application for it on on ios because you know apple and apple and microsoft don't get along too well so this is xbox cloud gaming it's included within the what you call it the xbox game pass ultimate oh we can turn volume controls still working everything i've actually never played jedi fallen order so oh, we had a little bit of lag there, but you know, latency isn't too bad actually. Oh yeah, we gotta do, uh, we gotta, we gotta save them with the force, right? So interesting enough, you can click this little button up here and you can hit this Xbox button to bring up your, your actual like Xbox menu, which is kind of cool. Uh, you can also do things like, you know, feedback, share, quit game. Things like that there. So I, th I just thought that was kind of interesting. It does look very nice though for, you know, Streaming and streaming to a mobile device. I don't know. Okay, so we're on the train here. Uh, and I, I kind of just, I don't want to take too time, too much time doing this. I just want to see how good the latency is on the controls. We're going to, we'll, we'll do a little test here. We're going to click back. So it's not terrible, right? I mean, that's playable. I don't know if I would play like a multiplayer game on this, but oh, okay. I mean, it's very ominous, very beautiful. Actually graphically looking pretty spicy, man. Oh, a little lag there, a little hitch, but yeah. I mean, we're streaming from the clown, so I suppose that's probably to be expected. I'm not the closest to my router, but it's looking pretty, pretty. Still very playable, in my opinion. Okay, that's enough of this, right? Like I, I wanna play, I can't skip cutscenes. exit to home. Now we're back. Now we're back at the main screen there. Um, so, okay, so Xbox Cloud Gaming, pretty good. What about just mobile gaming in general? And I was gonna play Genshin for this, uh, kind of show that off, but uh, Genshin's actually kind of a stupid laggy mess on my phone for some reason. So we are not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to hop on COD Mobile. Let's see how that goes. Can't even play the game with all the goddamn advertisements, man. This is why mobile gaming is a joke most of the time. It's a weird angle, I know, uh, but we're gonna... Oh, uh, sensitivity could go up a little bit. And I'm so far away from the screen, man. It's hard to see. Who's the enemies? I'm blind. Oh, the stick. I, yeah, I need to turn the sense up if I'm going to be using this more often. It's just terribly slow when I'm zoomed in, but I will say this is a lot, a lot better than trying to use your fingers to move around. Oh. Okay, I'm garbage aim, bro. But we're slaying, man. Oh. Why am I auto running, bro? What? Why am I auto running, bro? Oh, that's annoying. Could I turn that off or no? Holy God. Get out of my face, bro. And then, oh. Say less, brother. Oh, my friends, psych. So yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know. Uh, I mean, this is totally me. The, a the aiming's totally me. It's the sensitivity is very, very low and come back after like 30 days and see how I'm feeling about it then. Uh, but I could play, I could play COD Mobile like that. I mean, like I said, after adjusting some settings, it is ultimately me over anybody else. I got second though. Yeah, so I don't know. I mean, that's kind of just a, a general overview of what it is and what it can do. Like I said, I think I would very much like to um, go like 30 days using this device and just kind of see, is it is it worth it? Is It is $100 for the Backbone One controller, $100 US dollars. You can find it at Best Buy. You can find it at Sam's Club. You can find it on their website, on Amazon, everywhere. Uh, and there's other other brands do kind of the same thing. The, I think the Razer Kishi is is something along those lines. Uh, however, I, I have no experience with that at all. Um, this has a very nice 
UI. Guys, that's the video for today. I don't know. If you liked it, you can check out this video up here. And if that tickles your fancy, or maybe it doesn't, there's also a playlist of videos that you can watch down here. Click on one of those, and I'll see you when you get over there. Take care.